Around an hour's drive from the nearest town, this institute, like many in the former Eastern Bloc, feels hidden away. The living area for the orphans is divided into different buildings, separating the bedridden, the disabled and the adults. Nikolai has fought to secure extra funding for the children in his care, and in fact this institute receives around 40% more per head than the average for the region. But when one of Nikolai's children has to go to hospital, he must supply all the food, nappies and medication for the duration of their stay. Three very sick children recently arrived at the institute. No one was kind of hiding the fact that these kids were sent here to die. Two of them have already died. Two quickly died, but the remaining child, Margarita, is very unwell in the local hospital. We are on our way to see Margarita, but we have to film secretly because Nikolai is anxious that she's not getting the treatment she needs. Um, Basically, the level of oxygen in her blood is very low. This is the doctor. He said that at the moment the state of this child is kind of uh, satisfactory. If her temperature goes down, she will be sent in this condition back to the internet, which it's not a hospital. The internet is not a hospital. I don't understand. Why can't you have the responsibility to try to keep the child in hospital until she improves, with or without a temperature? It's just simply not fair. She should have to be in the same place. I understand, but the problem is that I can't solve any problems. I'm going to do it. So, are you agree that she needs to be sent to the internet or not? Я сидел напротив этих врачей областных и говорю, ну такое говорите, вы просто спихуйте мне этого ребенка и все, я не знаю, что с ним делать. Двое умерли, я говорю, сейчас третий, ну как я буду заняться, я не представляю себе. Вот он придет ко мне сейчас еще немножко там восстановится там у него дыхание, насытится кислородом, вы его отправите опять. Или в детское отделение. Ну конечно, а не детское отделение было. Он пойдет ко мне. Да, да, да. Кто идет? Опять же задыхаться. Кто идет? Здравствуйте. Помню, друзья. A senior pediatrician joined us. I am not a doctor, but I can see from looking at her that she's in a very chronic condition. This child, you know, she could die. So whether she's got a temperature or not, I cannot understand how two doctors could send her out of the hospital to an institute where there's no medication. I cannot understand this. Can you please try and explain this to me? Да, эти проблемы обсуждались не на нашем уровне, решались как быть с этими детьми. This is not our level of solving problems. Место нахождения этого ребенка и лечение, лечение на базе нашей больницы. Это не в нашей компетенции решать, куда этого ребенка солнышко отправить. Конечно, я тоже. So if doctors don't make the decisions, я понимаю, что это катастрофическое состояние, катастрофа. Вы говорите, я это понимаю, да, это катастрофа, но она не сегодняшнего дня. Это не острая катастрофа, это катастрофа отдаленных дней с рождения ребенка, и он постоянно в ней с этой катастрофой.